So the inverse of a two by two matrix, first of all, congratulations if you're even watching this because you're pretty like high up in math to be doing inverses of two by two matrices. But basically, this is a man-made invention to solve two equations with two variables. I won't go into like the deep background history of this, but basically, if you're told in your class to find the inverse of a two by two matrix, it's pretty easy. This is a two by two because look, it's got two down and two over, right? So two by two. And now this is the formula for the inverse of a two by two matrix. It's not gonna make sense. Don't get all upset at first. It's one over debt times arrow minus minus, right? Okay, I think like I should copyright that because I think I invented that. But anyways, the point is it's one over debt arrow minus minus, which to you means nothing yet, right? So the first part, one over debt, that's the determinant of this. And the way you find that for a two by two, if you remember, it's probably a different video I'll do, is this number here is this times this minus this times this, right? So one over this times this minus this times this. So let's do it. All right, determinant of this. This times this, six minus this times this. Negative one times negative two is a positive two. So this little aspect of this is done. What's six minus two? It's four. So I'm just gonna change this. This whole thing right here is one over four. So I found this part of the deal, right? Him times him, nice subtraction. Okay, now we still have to do this. What's this whole arrow thing that you know is going on with the minuses? The reason I like this little like diagram is because the way you do this now is you flip these suckers. That's why the arrow. All you do is you flip their spots. It used to be two and three, now it's three and two. Done. Now these guys, you don't flip them, these two here, you change their signs. That's why we have this little negative negative. So this now is a positive one, and this now is a positive two. So that's it. I totally did all the instructions, even though the diagram looks sketchy. I think it's the best way to learn it. Now, uh, I actually have to distribute the one over four to every single guy, right? So I can, my main thing is finding room on this little screen. But, so now let's actually do it right here, okay? I go one over four times three, that's three over four. One over four times one, that's one over four. Uh, one over four times two is two over four. I'm just gonna reduce it because I'm a math teacher. I just did that in my head all pretty quick like. So that's two over four. And then again, one over four times two, two over four reduces to a half. This would be my answer. This is the inverse of this matrix, uh, that two by two matrix. And again, you should write this little formula. Like if you have to do this in school, one over debt times arrow minus minus. And I think they're really easy. When you learn them, they're complicated and confusing. But if you follow my secret techniques to success, you're gonna be just fine. And remember, if you're struggling with your uh, Algebra 2 class at your school, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School. Uh, and then the uh, credits will be transferred back to your local high school.